I found myself walking through a deep forest in a thick fog. How did I get here? I should have been home by now. Suddenly, I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. Do you need a room for the night? My, my. You certainly do look exhausted, don't you? Well then, I'll get a room ready for you. Right this way, if you don't mind. I'll be happy to show you to your room. I must say, we don't often receive guests at this hour. Perhaps you've somehow managed to lose your way. Or, oh, or maybe you've just lost your mind. That was a joke. <laughs> Have a pleasant sleep, my friend. You'll be needing it, believe me. <laughs> And so I fell into a deep sleep and began to dream. Come on now, throw away all them worries. Forget about them. Huh? I can tell you ain't from around these parts. Hey, what's the deal, bud? Are you lost or something? Don't be embarrassed. You can tell me. What? You can't get back? Hmm. Okay, how's about I make you a little deal? See, my job is removing lost souls from the living world. And that hotel is full of lost souls, what needs to be removed right away. hoo If you go in and find them, I'll show you the way back. I even got some body you can use. It's a little small, but hey, what you gonna do, right? When you find them all, come see me again in your dreams. You got that? See you later, pal. Is that you? Please don't tease me anymore. <laughs> you. You're the one who moved in next door yesterday, aren't you? I need to talk to you. Yes. So go get the key that's on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. To get to the lobby, just go straight and turn left at the end of the hall. The 
key to the room next door? The cat that inhabits that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble. A most dangerous cat indeed. He was once a beautiful creature with fine silky fur. Then, one stormy night, long ago, someone sewed everything shut. Eyes, mouth, Ears! Oh, what a horrible thing! Since then, he's been a nasty beast that attacks anyone who draws near. As the manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key. Well then, I guess it's about time I made the rounds of the hotel. If I may ask, what are you doing? I'm so hungry. Is it dinner yet? We meet at last. My name is Neko Zombie. Do you think I'm scary? I don't need your sympathy. The guests in this hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Yes. So they're not going to give up their souls that easily. So... You have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. First, you've got to scope out their weak points without them noticing. Now we'll practice peeking. Go out into the hall and look through the keyhole. Are you ready? Then go ahead and try peeking into my room. Did you see me? Now, I'll tell you about my weak point. Yes. My weak point is food. You'll have to figure out on your own what my favorite food is. I'm hungry. Thank you. 
a dessert that's sweet and not too cold. Chocolate. That's it. Here, I'll give you this. Is this what you're talking about? I picked this up somewhere a long time ago. Here, you can have it. I don't need it. There are twelve souls in all you must find. Each of the guests in this hotel is carrying one. So, how are you planning to deliver those souls back to death? I see. You're going to meet him in your dreams? In that case, you should sleep on the bed in your room if you want to hand the souls over to death. to pick up any souls? You brought me a lost soul already? Well, that sure was quick. Okay then, hand it over like we agreed. Hey, hey thanks a lot. Here, I'll stamp your card for you. Just keep finding them and bringing them back to me. Whenever you get one, go to sleep and I'll catch up with you in your dreams. Good luck there, buddy! Did you sleep well? I've got to talk to you about you know what. Do you know Catherine? Time for a blood test. Oh, this is so good. Oh. Catherine loves to draw blood from people she doesn't like. She lives two doors down from me in room 104. Shh, somebody's listening. <laughs> I heard that. So that child is collecting souls. I think it's time for a blood sample.
I guess it won't be that easy to collect the souls after all. I'll give you some hints about how to go about getting people's souls. James, you nasty child! Stop throwing your garbage on the floor! What if someone stepped on it and had an accident? Where is that brat? James! I'm the one who has to clean up all of your messes.
This makes me want to do terrible things to you. I think I'll make your job harder by running away. <laughs> job. But Catherine's on the warpath. If she gets you, it'll be needle time. It's gone! It's gone! My soul, it's gone! That kid must have taken it. Now I'm really angry. What can you do about it? Simple. Just run away. Now one last thing. Yes. Around here, the power of your beliefs is everything. If your mental gauge, the strength of your mind, drops to zero, you'll never be able to escape from this place. What's that? I saved the worst for last? Yes. Sorry about that.
Your mental gauge represents the strength of your mind. So whenever you're carrying a soul, it'll resonate with your mind and make it stronger for a while. That means you have to consider when you're going to hand a soul over to death. Also, when you're starting to lose your wits, use an herb item to restore your mental power. Plus, by reading a good book, yes, you can actually increase your mental gauge. Why am I telling you all this? I'm just worried about you, that's all. Alright, tomorrow you'll be going after Judgment Boy's soul, yes. Do you know Judgment Boy? Do you know my name? Judgment! Judgment Boy came to the hotel to pass final judgment on troubled hearts. You did a good job today. Now, go back to your room and get some rest. Tomorrow's another big day. to pick up any souls? So, you only brought me one, huh? Shall I take it? Good luck there, buddy! Well then, I'd better start getting ready to receive the new guest. <laughs> Judgment! Do you know my name? Judgment! What? Hmm. Now that I look at you more closely, I see you've got an awful lot on your mind. If you ever want my help, just bring a symbol of your problem. Then I'll give you one of my special judgments. Judgment! Nice to see you. And what can I do for you? Huh? 
Oh, where did you find that book? You don't say! You found it in Catherine's room? This is quite serious. I'm afraid I'll have to confiscate it. It would be wise not to make too much of a fuss. <laughs> You know, I think you should read something more tasteful. Not this piece of... <clears throat> this book. If you're looking for such a book, I suggest you try the first floor library. I'm sure a little reading will make all of your worries melt away. <laughs> Now then.
You're carrying a self-help book, aren't you? Well then, it's time to judge which path your future will take. You're a charming young woman who's accidentally wandered into a hotel from another dimension. There's only one way to get back to the real world. You must collect lost souls. But the hotel is full of danger. You can't run and you can't hide. So, what do you do? Alrighty then, let's ask the scales of truth! Which will it be, money or love? Only the scales know for sure. Judgment! Here we go! No matter how tough things got, you never gave up. At last, you followed the path you had created for yourself and found your way back to the real world. And that's the truth, see ya? You bravely faced your fears and followed the correct path. I'll give you a fabulous prize!
Come on now, give it up, throw away all them worries. Oh, it's you. Did you manage to pick up any souls? So you brought two of them along, is that right? Hmm, shall I take it? Thanks a lot. Here, I'll stamp your card for you. Well, would you look at that? While we've been here jabbering, a whole bunch of new guests moved in, and they got souls too. Good luck there, buddy!